my friend sent me the computer in the picture and complained that he couldn't run anything on this computer. But things were not going to be as easy as they looked. I had a ton of cardboard to gravel with to uncover the ore, since no one trusts cargo companies in Turkey. Everyone wants to guarantee their stuff. <laughs> After tons of covers, I was able to reach the computer, but I realized it didn't work without the adapter as its battery was dead. Q4OS, a light Linux distro, was installed on the computer, which was previously installed with my advice. If you look at the features, you can see that it has 1GB RAM. 150GB hard disk and Intel Atom and 270 CPU. Performance was beyond abysmal as expected. While the computer is experiencing the biggest bottleneck on the CPU side, we can observe that the RAM is also insufficient, especially in internet browsers. We have no chance to improve the CPU, but we can upgrade the RAM and hard disk. Since the computer architecture is 32-bit, it has a maximum of 3GB RAM support, but since it has a single RAM slot, we can only increase it up to 2GB. We can also install an SSD as a hard disk. computer has DDR2 class RAM running at 800 MHz. In this context, I started my research and tried to find the cheapest RAM and SSD. I decided to buy this Tier X brand RAM for 99 liras for just over $5. And I also ordered the Kingston brand 240GB SSD for 369 liras, almost $20. Finally, the orders came. The shipping process of the SSD order went faster. I start to work by testing whether the computer can run the RAM successfully. And as you can see at the end of the video, the computer read the RAM as 2 GB. After installing an SSD in the computer, it is necessary to prepare a bootable USB flash disk in order to run it with a new operating system. For this, I prepared a USB stick for Zorinos Lite, one of the first distro of Linux through Ventoy software that can run on Linux. What I did after that was unscrew the keyboard and case screws and get to the motherboard and its components. Even the accelerated version took more than one minute as this is a bit of a long process.
After accessing the units of the computer, what I did was clean the parts. I started the cleaning by cleaning the fan. For cleaning, I used colon containing ethyl alcohol, ear leather, and a bunch of napkins. Normally, cleaning of electronic devices should be done with isopropyl alcohol, but unfortunately, I did not have this. The computer was released in 2009, assuming it's been alive for almost 13 years. You can imagine how contaminated it might have been. After the fan, I proceeded to clean the fan and processor bath. Then I removed the damaged thermal pieces on the processor and graphics card and on the processor cover. In addition to this, the keyboard was also quite dirty. Luckily, I took care of everything with devotion. Here is the result of the cleaning. Thermal paste is a miraculous substance developed to dissipate heat from the center of the processor. Over time, this paste loses its function and needs to be replaced. In theory, this period is two years depending on the quality of the paste, but unfortunately the paste in our device has not been changed for 30 years. Now is the time to bring it back to life. After cleaning the fan and its surroundings, and applying thermal paste to the processor and graphics card, I reassembled them. To replace the HDD with an SSD, all you have to do is remove the strips around the HDD and insert it into the SSD. You can easily change it later. Fortunately, hard drives and their size have been produced to the same standard for many years. Besides, the sizes and slots of the M2 NVMe SSDs produced recently are completely different. At this stage, I just placed the case and tightened the screws. Then I fixed the keyboard in place and got the computer ready to install the operating system. As I mentioned before, I will install Zorin OS Lite as the operating system on this computer. Installing an operating system via 
are USB here. But if you ask questions as comments, I will answer them openly. As a result, the computer runs faster and more stable with SSD instead of HDD. 2 GB RAM instead of 1 GB RAM and replacing the thermal paste and cleaning the fan. The computer, which could not even watch a single YouTube video before, became a complete internet surfing monster. I'm working in the Luxworld company, so it will be my first time for this reason. Please don't blame me.